Hello and welcome to the Battlefield Top Plays. In this week's episode, we're going to take a look at five of the most unusual and epic jet clips that I've had sent in over the past couple of weeks. If you do enjoy, please leave a like down below and let me know what your favourite clips were down in the comments. Kicking us off, we have a clip sent in from Fighting Falcon. He's going to be playing on Hainan Resort in the A-10 Warthog, and as you can see, he started off with a pretty nice mixture of cannons and JDAMs to take out that boat. He then drops a JDAM on top of the roof and picks up a whole load of kills, six in total, with one JDAM. Now, I've skipped forward the clip a little bit because it was one hell of a streak, and he's pulled off another JDAM with again five kills and then another JDAM with seven kills in total and that's not quite it he continues this madness for the rest of the game just smashing the roof campers into obliteration they must have had a couple of medics camping in the lifts coming back out to revive them because I see a couple of repeats in the kill feed with people dying again and again but this is just super super impressive the way he evades the heat seekers as well map knowledge just ability in the jet is completely amazing this guy one of the best a10 pilots i've seen on the playstation a really really great player fantastic clip Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Tim ESC. Again, he's going to be playing on the PlayStation 4, this time though on Golmud Railway in the attack jet. Now he's looking for targets in the distance and you know what's going to happen here. It's not going to be anything normal with the cannons. He's going to be going for a nice JDAM kill. Spots the scout helicopter, hovering pretty low, quite a nice target to hit. Takes it down first time, no problem there. Then banks round looking for yet another target. As he goes back towards that original position, he spots an enemy attack helicopter, and instead of JDAMing it this time, a really, really impressive clip. How the hell he'd link up two of those in a row, I have no idea, but really awesome skills. Next up, we've got two clips sent in from Fui, the guy you've seen pull off a load of JDAMs in the past on this game. The first clip, he's going to pull off one of the most insane JDAM kills on a stealth jet I think I've ever seen. Banking upwards on a fast moving stealth jet, firing the JDAM upside down out of the wrong side of the attack jet. Literally no clue how he's pulled that one off. The next clip though is not so satisfying. Playing on rogue transmission, he hits a dust on an attack jet with a really nice barrel roll JDAM. And as if that wasn't enough, he goes back in for another shot on the enemy stealth jet, again, pulling off a dust. Two in a row. How unlucky can you get? Jesus fucking Christ, I just dusted two JDMs on both jets, dude. Fuck my... I, I'm done playing this game. Done. Next up, we've got a clip sent in from Daskos. He's going to be playing on Lost Islands and going to be pulling off a pretty decent looking rodeo zook, something that you see a fair bit of on Battlefield. But it did remind me of a question that I was wanting to ask a couple of weeks ago. Has anyone ever pulled off a double rodeo zook on this game? Is it physically possible to fire the small, reload it, and then fire it again? Or are you going to have to get back into the jet and jump out? If anyone's pulled one of those off, I'd love to see it. The next clip isn't strictly a jet clip, of course it's from Battlefield 1, but nonetheless it's pretty awesome. Nani and Bango is going to be playing on Swasson, I think this map is, I'm not exactly certain because I haven't played a load of this game, if I'm honest, but as you can tell, Delta Flag is completely stacked with enemy players, drops those super effective darts on the players down beneath. I'm not sure whether this is pre-patch or post-patch, but they still look very, very effective, so I have a feeling it was pre-patched, takes out a whole load of players, and goes in for yet another strafe, pulling off a few more kills. I don't think I've seen that many people die to one set of bombs before. An incredible effort, and there's no wonder they nerfed this plane. If you did enjoy this week's top plays, please leave a like down below and let me know what you'd like to see in an upcoming episode. Put your favourite clips down in the comments so I can check out what you thought of them, and I'll catch you in the next episode.